My job as the medical futurist is to read every news item, article, press release, report, executive summary, study, clinical trial, so you don't have to. I'm trying to save you time and effort by providing the context about all the advanced technologies when it comes to the future of medicine and healthcare. And of course, in that sense, in that process, I go through about 1-200 news items per day, and I read about 20 of them to choose the three that I will share with context on our social media channels. And I have some favorite resources I would like to share with you. So hopefully it will help you find the things you're looking for. The first is deeplearning.ai, a fantastic AI community with a newsletter. If you subscribe to their free newsletter, once in a while, you will get a report from them about the medical or healthcare related AI advancement. And their AI researchers will even describe why that report or study result is important for people working in medicine and healthcare. Number two is called Dr. Penguin. I know it's a strange name, but really high level healthcare researchers in AI have been producing that newsletter and every Friday I get the four or five most important studies, peer-reviewed papers of that week with an abstract or a short description. Number three is mobihealthnews.com, which I use as a resource for all news related to digital health. I also use medgadget.com to find out about everything that's about medical devices and technologies because that editorial team keeps on testing and reviewing these technologies themselves. Number five is the Futurology community on Reddit. It's a subreddit that I check every single day because the community tries to find out which news about energy or transportation or healthcare regarding the future might be the most relevant one. So it's a curated kind of community and I find really amazing gems in there every single day. Number six is the Google AI blog, which is weird that a tech company can produce something useful content-wise, which is not full of marketing gimmicks and ideas, but this one is a good example that they, uh, the Google keeps on using their researchers to provide descriptions about what kind of technological breakthroughs or studies they produced or, or got published. And the last one is BBC Future. This is a part of the whole BBC group. And in that section, they only talk about futuristic things and ideas and visions. It usually contains even and philosophical thoughts about how we might want to think about the near future. It's really extraordinary. And besides these great resources, I also follow people like Eric Topol, e-patient Dave DeBronckart, Rafael Grossman or Lucien and Kala. Please make sure to check out their streams and channels because they come up with extraordinary stuff every single week. I hope you will find these resources useful and if you know about others, please let me know in the comment section so I can expand my way of scanning the internet for news about the future of medicine. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the digital health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.